We're at Sebring. I'm Dan Johnson. Today I'm going to talk to an old friend in the business here, Roy Beiswinger, the publisher of Powered Sport Flying Magazine. Got to fly the machine we're standing in front of. This is the iTech Maverick, and you're the first guy that I know personally to be not with the company who flew the airplane. Okay. And yep. you're a powered parachute expert. Give us a little of your background of powered parachutes first. Well, been flying them since 93, uh, back when they were all ultralights or ultralight exempted vehicles, and grew up doing it, I guess, and now... More than 20 years? More than 20 years, and I'm like VP number one for them, got a private rating in them, got all kinds of little FAA certifications for it, but the bottom line is I just love the type of flight. So you've done a lot of it, you got all the credentials in the world, Yes. but now you found yourself in a, I think you'd characterize it as a blind dune buggy. Yes. It's not just a power, it's a powered parachute, right. but it's more than a powered parachute. Right. How is it more than a powered parachute? Well, first of all, I've never seen a powered parachute tear up turf the way this thing <laughs> <laughs> This thing, I mean, it's really, it is a dune buggy and it's a powered parachute. I mean, it, it really does both of those. And we got a chance to drive around a little bit. Oh, you did? Time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you didn't just fly, you rolled it around as an actual dune buggy. Or well, we, as a vehicle or whatever yes, you want to. We're, we're out here and uh, actually, uh, Vicki, who is the editor of the magazine, okay. she was in one seat, oh. I was in the other seat. Oh, great, okay. Troy drove us around and we had we just had a big old time. And you don't get that. You don't get cornering capability out of three-wheeled carts. No, yeah. You, okay. you can drive those around a little bit, but yes. you don't go wild with them, for you, sure. You would not do that in what, what we did last night without flipping the thing over. I yeah. guess like, this, this really was a, a blast just for riding around in that way. Well, looking down at me underneath here, I mean, there's some very sturdy gear in here. Yes. This is not your airplane gear. This no. is roadworthy gear. Right. These fellows, Troy, drove this thing all the way from Florida to Oshkosh one yeah. year. So that pretty well proves the roadworthiness part of it. And I think they are under the classification of a kit car. Right. So that allows them to do some things that you know, they don't have to have big windshield wipers and all that other stuff. Yeah. Many, many more things that our government likes to do. I'll take one step further. I would not take most roadworthy vehicles out on dunes. <laughs> well, that's a fact. <laughs> so, I mean, this is doing a lot of different things. It's, you know, a lot of people have advertised over the years. We've got aircraft that do, do X and Y and Z, and you can flip this and switch that, and you could do that. It's, you know, the whole car train transfer. Yeah, but you got to spend a couple hours making it from one to the other. Exactly. If, if it's even that amount. it doesn't do any one of what. Okay. Right. Well, all is compromised. That's right. And there's, you know, and I'm sure there's compromises here. Well, there has to be but, some. Uh, it's pretty versatile. It, 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 it is versatile, and I, I mean, you know, it's, it's built for missions. It's built for rough terrain and, and real work. But a lot of things that make it a really good work for us make it a little bit well, we talked Roy into the front seat, which he didn't get in before, nope. but he's got to practice like he already knows a lot about it. In fact, Troy, the fellow who does all the test flying for the company, said, you know a lot, so tell us a lot, Roy. You're sitting in the vehicle now. looks like you're driving a car to me, except right. that I recognize this instrument over here. This is the right. Garmin Era, yep. and that's an aviation instrument. So well, you got a steering wheel, and uh, yeah, and a Garmin radio over there as well. So. What do you know about this as far as not driving it now? That looks pretty obvious. A gas pedal, a steering wheel, you push one and it goes and you turn it. But what do you do when you get in the air? The steering wheel still works. The steering wheel, it is, it, the steering wheel steers it in the sky. Okay. So, so they've got this connected up because you got to pull a couple of lines on a power right. parachute. That's how you steer a power parachute is from either, you know, pull down the left or right line. But what they've done with this is they've got some actuators. So it's all fly-by-wire. I mean, this is one more thing to add to that this is a fly-by-wire aircraft. <laughs> and it does have the backup of flying, you know, physically with pedals, the way a typical car parachute is. So, ah, okay. And is that what these handles here I'm looking well, at? That's, those are trim handles. Those are trim and, handles. And okay. So when you're steering this, when you when you turn this this way, you're probably turning the wheels. I can see the wheels you are turning. turning the wheels. But you're also 
driving a, a mechanical actuator of some kind that is pulling on the line. That's right. Okay. That's right. Now there's some switchover because one of the nice things about this flying car, you know, and I guess it's the same way that everybody's going, is that when you're driving, you have a different transmission than just powering the front. Ah, uh, true. Okay. Uh -huh. So, and it's actually kind of required. If you look at the way the rigging is up overhead here, you've got things kind of, uh, when it's put into drive mode, you've got the poles for putting the chute up that are right in the way of the front. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. So, but I mean, as far as uh, flying, uh, you know, Troy was ready to say, well, you just doing flying. I mean, I've got the rating, I've got all that, but... You know, it's an air show. Sure, sure, you sure. know, I want to get a little bit more. But I mean, working from the back seat is I was flying. Grand he was not working hard. He was having a good time. And yeah. and you would understand if if he had put you in the front seat at a at a, I, I, at a I, private I, field I, somewhere where there wasn't people right. watching and so forth. I you think he could have done it. I think so. I think the fact that he was in All right, cool. Okay. Um, but the. Uh, you know, it, the thing that is very, very interesting to me sitting in the back seat particularly is that when it took off, normally with a fired parachute, there's a big hiding experience. I mean, you, you're, you're looking yeah, You kind of lurch line. forward, then you kind of stop. Well, but you're watching the shoot the whole time. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be yeah. because you're building this wing. Well, with this machine, wing's already up there. Yeah, you get this big pole that they erect from right around, I guess it's yeah. right around here, yep. goes way up and holds the leading edge Right in the center, and you right. wouldn't think that'd be enough, but it's enough to, so you, you don't go through the yeah, you're, the you're, you're uh, raising of the wing. Not right. going through the kiting part, so it's already there. And if you're in the back seat, like I was, you couldn't see the wing. I mean, the wing's actually, you know. The yeah, wing. right. No, yeah, so you'd be blocked from back there, and, looking and over now, your shoulder. I can see it. My is looking right through the left hand here. Okay. So, it sees it. Oh, so the wing's the right overhead so there. Okay. There's a safety of, of seeing it for. You. But if you're in the back, it's literally flying car because all you see are wheels. <laughs> I mean, you yeah, you're not used to seeing a wheel out over here, are you're you? You're not see and not anything that big, not on anything this small. <laughs> and so, you know, it it takes off, and like I say, you, you see it, you know, the steering wheel gets rolled left, the wheels go left, and you go left. So if if you were just kind of popped into this machine and you didn't know what was going on above, you go. Okay, this is you wouldn't be sure you were flying. That's right. You left the ground. Okay, there's some kind of green thing going on. This thing. But it's really, it just it flies very, very nicely. It's, uh, I, mean, I just couldn't, you know, other than there being windshields and a, a little bit more than I'm used to in a fire station, it's still a little bit more weight. Um, more seats. I mean, it's a more seat. Right, so as a, as a ground vehicle uh, or as an experimental aircraft as opposed to a special light sport aircraft, you can have uh, you can have two people back there. That's right. And, and one up here. So a three-seater aircraft. It's a three-seater aircraft, uh, you know, so you need a private rating to fly it even if you're flying. To do that, itself. right. And, but they've got the program. Uh, Troy's now on the exam. And so, you know, the rating's available, the aircraft's now available, and that's actually, I think, one of the neat things about this. I mean, there, with, under all the, this is new, this is new, this is new, three-seat powered parachutes, yeah, I think this is the first one that, that really does have three seats, three sets of harnesses, everything, and you have to be, and you can be three real people, nobody sitting on someone's lap. Yeah, 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 sure. Like it's that. a genuine vehicle. It is. Well, we'll, yeah. uh, we'll put up the website for the company as well, just Good. so that uh, we know where they can get more information about the iTech Maverick. But uh, what we'd like to do with you in the driver's seat here and uh, uh, ask you, first of all, you're going to write about this in your magazine, yes. I presume. Yes. And where do we find out more about Powered Sport Flying the magazine? That would be PSF, PSF as in Power Sport Flying, magazine.com. All right. Find so we're speaking there. to Roy Byswinger today. He's the publisher of that magazine. Covers all the light end of aviation very well, from rotorcraft to powered parachutes, fixed wings, and, well, a lot more. You really need, if you haven't seen one, you need to get a hold of one. If you have seen it, I'll bet you're enjoying it. And uh, 
I've had a nice relationship with Roy over many years. We'll continue that. I want to hear more about his flying of the Maverick. But you can find lots of stuff about light sport aircraft, the light aircraft community at bydanjohnson.com. BYDanjohnson.com. Thanks a lot for joining us here at Seabrook. Cool.